Yes, right oh tell you there, champs. Yes, I have a HP in the house. Finally got a HP. So hopefully this is a start of a lot of more HP laptops coming in. But anyway, I'm gonna unbox this HP Elite Book Dragonfly. And there are some things on this laptop that I have never seen on a laptop before. And I can tell you now, using it, oh man, I'll get to that in a sec. But anyway, I'm chock a block with laptops at the moment. I've got a few laptops to get through, including two Lenovo 2-in-1 Yogas. And I will compare the C930 to the C940. So stay tuned for that. So actually, it was Labor Day long weekend this weekend. And I took this out with me. So we're going to unbox it, have a look what we get in the package. And I'll tell you a bit about it. And the reason I took this laptop with me traveling is this thing is super light. I mean, next level light. We're talking less than a kilo, 0.99 of a kilo, 2.2 pounds. Wolf, that's what I'm talking about. That's a proper travel laptop. And this is a business oriented two in one. So it has a lot of business features like vPro, a security shutter for the webcam, and of course, LTE connectivity. So let's unbox it and you can see here, this thing is premium. It's actually not that cheap. And considering it's so light, I'll pay a bit extra for that. Now, this does come with the 36 watt hour battery, the one I have here. This is the one that's 2.2 pounds or 0.99 of a kilo. You can get a 56 watt hour battery as well. So you sort of have the choice. Do you want that little bit of extra weight with the 56 watt hour battery? Or do you want the super light weight with the 36 watt hour battery? As you can see, it is packed premiumly. It looks premium, has a premium price. It is expensive. And we'll have a look what we get in the box here. You have a 65 watt charger, very small braided cables, very nicely done. We also get a pen because of course this is a business laptop. Well, these are two in one actually. So you get the pen in the box. And what I like about this pen is you don't have to stick a battery in whatever. You can charge it USB-C. So that is awesome. The only thing is the actual laptop itself doesn't have a port where you can connect it in there. So let's have a look at the device. Now, the first thing I noticed with this is how light it is. Wow, wow, wow. I mean, when I pick it up, it feels like something's missing. It really does. It is that light. It's actually lighter than a Surface Pro with a touch cover. So we're talking super light here. And you can really notice it compared to a normal 13 inch Ultrabook. This is significantly lighter. And you can see it looks premium. Actually built out of plastic, but it's very robust and tough. It'll take a pound in this thing. Plastic is very robust material. And they actually use plastic from the ocean. So that's pretty cool. So if we have a look at the right hand side, we have Thunderbolt 3 over USB Type-C. We have HDMI and audio jack. On the left hand side, we have the power button, a USB Type-A and a SIM tray. So all the connectivity you need, all the ports you need, I like this. No SD card reader. It's not really a thing for business. They don't do that sort of thing. Just looking at it, the screen looks really nice and bright. And just using it for a while, that keyboard is really nice as well. The trackpad is nice and smooth. This thing here is vPro, so you can manage it easily. If you had a fleet of these, you could easily manage it with vPro. And look at this cool feature. Now, this is an exclusive to, you know, HP or this Dragonfly, but it's the first time I've ever had one vPro in a laptop, but two, this privacy guard. And have a look. So you look at the screen front on, looks beautiful, looks nice. Then you just tilt it that little bit. Woof. The screen disappears, yes. It's amazing, isn't it? You just turn off that little bit of an angle and you cannot see the screen at all. So this is a business feature that a lot of people like. You know, there's industrial espionage. You don't want people looking at the stuff you're doing. Sometimes there's closely guarded secrets on here. You don't want to be hacked or anything like that. And this is a great feature. And it's the first time I've seen it and it's friggin' awesome. I like it. So yeah, stay tuned for the full review on this. It'll be interesting to see what the battery life is like given that it does have the smaller battery, but considering how thin and light this is, I think I'll take that trade off because it's so light. So anyway, stay tuned for the full review. Catch you in the next one. Tally ho.